Hi, I'm Lali, I like motorcycles, and today we're talking about the accessories that have made my riding journey that much better, in a significant way. Some of these items I've been using since I started riding, so that's been about 10 years at this point. So no particular order, let's start off with number one, an emergency toolkit. The one I have is from Stockton Tools and it fits under the pillion seat of my bike, but it's really a modified version of it because the one that came with Stockton Tools, it had some stuff in there that I didn't really need, so I took out like half the stuff that came in that kit and just put it in my own little baggie along with some tools that I thought would be more handy for spicy boy. Let me get this open and show you what's actually in there. It is, I think, missing one thing and that's a tire plug kit, but like I said, there is not, there's not a lot of space in here. So fitting these items, that's that's pretty much it. Maybe like a tiny rag. Two hefty zip ties. I have this multi-purpose tool that is like everything and anything you could want. I have some tie downs along with this thing, which also came in that kit. I believe this is to get like hex, hex bolts off. I have a little bit of electrical tape, which I just wrapped around this cylinder and then, a bunch of spare nuts and bolts. <laughs> another zip tie in there and a couple of plastic grommets. This thing is really the star of the show. I like this one just because it's way more compact. I don't even know where I have this from. I think I might have taken it out of my dad's <laughs> tool collection in his garage because he has so many things. I'm sure he doesn't need another gadget. This thing really does have everything you could possibly need in an emergency for a motorcycle, even this thing. So yeah, I think if I had to choose really anything in the emergency toolkit, it would be like zip ties and that thing. Another thing I should mention, I think a lot of motorcycles come standard also with two little Allen keys that fits most bolts. So maybe just get one that fits like some of the bigger bolts on the outside. All right, let's move on to the next item. Might be switching scenes a little bit around here. I filmed in two separate places. Today's video is sponsored by Flying Eyes. I will tell you in a second why these are the best glasses you could possibly have for riding a motorcycle. Typically I wear these glasses just for every day, but when I'm going riding, I switch to the Flying Eyes because, well, basically this pair of glasses fits like garbage inside my helmet. You can see it doesn't sit like on the bridge of my nose. It like bounces around. When I go over potholes, they go like this and it distorts my vision. It's not good. And they also cause pressure points on the side of my temples after a while. But these ones have super thin bendable side frames and I can't feel them when I put them in. They just stay wherever I put them. You can tell how well these glasses sit on my face and they all sit like wherever I put them. If I like really want them up high in my helmet, they'll just stay up high. And if I want them down low in my helmet, they'll stay there and they don't move around. They don't bounce, nothing. <laughs> the nice thing about flying eyes is if you have actual prescription glasses like I do, you can get them reimbursed by your insurance just by like submitting an out-of-network claim. And then the best part is you can convert them into sunglasses. They have a bunch of these magnetic clip-ons that come in different colors. They have normal sunglasses too if you want that. I love these glasses and I even ran over a test pair with my motorcycle to see <laughs> if they would break and they didn't. So I'm pretty confident they'll hold up. This is now my second year riding with Flying Eyes. I really have no complaints about their product. They work really nice. If you do want a pair of these, I have a discount code for them. It's Lali at checkout on the Flying Eyes website. I'll leave all all the details in the description below. All right, this next product has some history with me. This is one of the products that ended up being sent to me initially and I continued the subscription for this for three years. This is my third year. This is the Monimoto and it's an anti-theft device for your motorcycle. You get a little key fob that goes on your keys and then the device itself goes on the inside of your motorcycle hidden somewhere. Basically, whenever the key fob isn't near that device, an alarm will set off. It's an alarm based on a SIM card. So it's actually gonna call you to tell you that your motorcycle is moving. You can put the phone number in your contacts and name it like whatever you wish. Mine is in my phone as like Monimoto, the MT-07 is moving with like a bunch of exclamation points. And I've done the smart thing of adding this to my favorites contacts so that if I do get this call and my phone is on do not disturb, um, this, the favorite contacts will always go through. So basically mom, dad, <laughs> and the Monimoto. <laughs> Those are the important contacts that have to come through. The reason I like this as opposed to doing like an air tag inside your bike is because an air tag can be disabled and it can be disabled by Android. Android phones too. This can't be disabled. So you initially buy the device and then I think it may already come with a one year subscription. This thing is not just like location sensitive, like when it senses your bike moving, it's motion sensitive. Like somebody sat on my bike once, it was a friend, but my keys weren't near it. They were inside on in the house and I had my phone on me. And as soon as he sat on the bike and like picked it upright, my phone rang like 30 seconds later. It also works with uh, two AA batteries and I've only had to replace them, I think like once a year. The Monimoto app, will alert you when your batteries are low. Even if your bike is stolen with the keys, so let's say somebody has the key fob and they just rode off with your bike like you forgot your keys inside your bike, um, you can still start live tracking. All right, the next thing is actually on the back of my phone. So this is the 
Peak Design Universal Adapter. These guys are not on Revzilla yet, so you have to go to their actual website. But what it allows you to do is connect any phone to this motorcycle mount that's magnetized. This is not very different from quad locks. So if you already have this, like I don't think you need to switch over. But if you're looking for a motorcycle mount, I prefer this to quad lock because I think their design is a little bit sleeker. Like, I don't, I don't know, this just stands out a lot less to me than one of the quad lock cases like those those things are thick from what i've seen so the outside of this is basically a magnet and then the inside of this is like a secondary clip locking mechanism as well here's what that setup looks like uh, i wish i could show you the phone going in here but i'm filming on the phone so i can't do that here i'm using the bar mount if you actually have a stem you can use you can use a stem mount so this this part's magnetic it'll magnetize your phone on there and then this part is like a secondary clip mechanism that clips to the back of the case like i showed you and so to release it, you just push the two outer clips on there and then pull your phone off. And as for putting it on there, it just you just slap your phone on there like... Maybe you heard that click, but yeah, now you're just sitting on the mount. I like these guys because uh, I had their prototype before, like while they were designing this product, they were like, hey, do you want us to send you a prototype of this? Just full warning, disclosure that it doesn't have built-in stabilization yet at the time. This was like two years ago. Th this new one that I have does and all their products do now, but the initial prototype didn't. And I know I remember thinking, oh, I think like that you can ruin some phones that way if you don't have vibration dampening. And even with their prototype, I used that thing for a full year and it never damaged my phone. I did have an Android at the time, the OnePlus 6T. That was a rugged, hardy phone and I loved it. And now that I have their full product, which does have vibration dampening built in, I just, I have no problems. I like it. It looks sleek on my bike. It doesn't stand out or look weird. I can't complain. They are pricey, but like so is every other really decent motorcycle mount that you're going to find out there. So it is what it is. I would say specifically, if you're going to buy a Peak Design, Black Friday is a good day to do it because their products don't go on sale. I think I've seen their products go on sale maybe twice in the three years that I've been following this company so if you do want one the black friday sale there's probably not going to be a better sale all right this next guy you can find on amazon and it's a portable tire inflator i did do like a sponsored reel on these guys a while back but they're not sponsoring this and they don't know i'm talking about them i still use their product and i really like it now it does come with a bunch of different attachments but the one i use most is just the one that you actually use to inflate your tires initially when you connect this thing to your motorcycle it'll tell you what the current psi of your tires is and then you can adjust it up and down depending on what you want it does measure in both psi and bar so you can do different units. I've inflated everything from beach balls to air mattresses to car tires to motorcycle tires with this thing. <laughs> I really like it. I also took it with me for the three track days that I did and it was really handy to be able to like quickly put or take air out of my tires. And if you take too much out, you can measure it real quick just by screwing this thing into the tire. And then if it's not where you want it, you can just adjust the pressure on here and tell it where you want it to be. If you already have something like a battery tender hooked up to your battery on your bike, you are already good to go because it uses an SAE connection to your battery in order to be able to make this work. So I already had an existing connection. All I had to do was just wire it behind my fairings and then I put it up under the windscreen of my bike. It's basically that little thing and it has a protective cap on it. Take that off and it's held in there so you don't have to worry about falling it off. But basically you can turn this thing on and it'll tell you the current voltage of your battery. So 12.6, that's good. <laughs> that means my bike will start. And you have two USB outlets in there so you can plug in something. And the way that I routed this was from the bottom of that unit, you can see this wire coming out from under the windscreen, it goes behind the forks, down through here, held in under that plastic fairing, continues right here until you can finally see. This is the SAE connection to the battery kit that I have for that little thing came with all the connectors I needed. Super easy to install. Okay, so I never understood why motorcycle stands had to be so expensive. This is just a rear tire paddock stand. Super useful when you're trying to work on your bike, anything like maintenance on your chain. The one I have here is by Trackside and I'm pretty sure I've had this thing for almost like 10 years that I've been riding now. I paid like around $60 for it on sale on Revzilla when I bought it. But I've seen these track stands that go like hundreds of dollars and I just, I don't understand. This one does the job so well. I mean, I can do this with one hand at this point. There we go. Boom, perfect. Nothing to worry about. And like I said, it was $60. It's been super handy multiple times when I've wanted to clean my chain. It also has uh, paddles because I don't have any I don't have any spools on Spicy Boys, so 
the paddles work just fine. I'm gonna give a mention to one last thing. I have a whole dedicated video on this topic, but riding with a Bluetooth headset, such as the Cardo, is the supreme way to ride. It has significantly improved my riding experience to be able to listen to music while I ride. If you wanna know more about that, I'll have the video linked. Also, if you wanna know more about riding with glasses like I do, I have video playlists dedicated to riding with glasses, including other tips and hacks that will make riding with glasses a little bit easier, as well as a database of helmets that fit particularly well with glasses. Thanks again to Flying Eyes for sponsoring this video. Don't forget you can get 10% off using code LALI at checkout and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!